China's largest chipmaker, Semiconductor Manufacturing International Corporation, SMIC, reported a massive 80% drop in profits and weak sales, causing its shares to slide 6% in Hong Kong on Friday. The company's co-chief executive, Zhao Haijin, attributed this decline to geopolitical factors and supply chain uncertainties, referring to it as the Grey Rhino effect. In the third quarter, SMIC's net profit fell by 76.7% to $93.9 million, falling significantly short of analysts' expectations of $173.9 million. Although the company's revenue increased by 3.9% sequentially to $1.621 billion, it dropped by 15% compared to the previous year. Gross margins also slipped from 20.3% in the second quarter to 19.8% in the third quarter. Looking ahead, SMIC anticipates a 1% to 3% growth in fourth quarter revenue, but expects gross margins to be affected by the depreciation pressure of new capacity, which is estimated to range between 16% and 18%. The company plans to increase capital expenditures to approximately $7.5 billion. During a call with analysts, Zhao Haijin cited geopolitical factors and supply chain issues as contributing to the gray rhino effect, a metaphor for overlooked threats. He emphasized that the industry supply chain is exploring various paths while SMIC remains cautious and persistent in its attempts to adapt. Similar to other chip makers, SMIC has been grappling with weak demand due to the global economic slowdown and supply chain challenges. Additionally, the company has faced U.S. sanctions since 2020. Hygiene noted that destocking of chips, particularly for mobile phones and consumer-related integrated circuit chips, started later overseas than domestically. This trend, while difficult, has allowed China's sales to comprise a larger portion of SMIC's overall revenue. In the third quarter, China accounted for 84% of the company's revenue, up from around 80% in the previous quarter. Hygiene expressed that the market appears to have stabilized, and demand for mature foundries like SMIC's is expected to grow next year due to decreasing inventories. However, he emphasized that significant market growth still depends on the recovery of the global macroeconomics, stating that this will be the fundamental situation in the coming year. Analysts found SMIC's results slightly puzzling, given expectations that building Huawei's 7 nanometer Mate Pro chip, which has been selling well, should have benefited the company. Jenny Hardy, a portfolio manager at GP Bullhound, pointed out that the decline in profitability was not surprising, as there were doubts about the profitability of SMIC's 7 nanometers chips. However, the lackluster sales, down 15% from the previous year, were unexpected. Hardy also questioned whether SMIC might be losing share among international clients due to political sensitivity. Despite the challenges, SMIC remains committed to navigating the volatile chip industry and seeking opportunities for growth in the face of uncertainty.